In this demo, we're going to show how you can do a design compare in CAM 350. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have one design loaded, bring a second design in, compare the two graphically, layer by layer, and then take a look at the results to see any differences between the two. Uh, in CAM 350, we have a checklist for our analysis. It's called Streams, or Streams RC, Streams Rule Checking. Um, we will use that to do the design comparison. So to bring up streams, there are several ways to do it in CAM 350. The easiest way is just to go view streams RC. And then you can either create a new one by clicking on this button or use an existing one if you already have one loaded in your design. So we'll just use one of these existing ones. There's nothing in it yet. These are the choices of items that you can add to a stream. Um, in this case, we're just going to use Design Compare. Uh, we probably have other streams created that do the analysis, uh, Netless Compare, and the DFF type of analysis as well. Okay. Now that we've got this in our uh, stream, we're going to go ahead and just go over to the details and basically just point to the other file that we're going to compare against this one. Okay, we pick the second file, simply have to go back now, click run. What it'll do is import that second design and then go through all these layers and compare them against each other, including the drill layers, not just graphics. Okay, when we do find differences, we're taken to the uh, errors tab down here on the bottom, the results tab. We can click on a error and it'll take us to that particular error. And as we click through these, what it becomes apparent is that this uh, passive device was moved from one side of the board to the other side of the board. So that's the only difference here. Um, when you're doing this, you're generally doing a comparison between perhaps layer one and two or excuse me, between Rev 1 and 2 of a particular design, or you're doing uh, maybe your tooled artwork from your fabricator and you want to compare that to the original artwork that you sent him. You can control some of the uh, details of the analysis back here in the Details tab. For instance, if, um, if the layers are not named the same, you can click on Layer Map and it'll bring up the two designs side by side and you can actually click and map the layers to each other if they have different names. Uh, you can also go in uh, to Layer Compare itself and set a tolerance for how big of a difference that you want to see. Uh, you know, you may not want to see every difference. For instance, if you are comparing tooled data to the original data, uh, there may have been line width enhancements and so forth, so you'd want to ignore those. So you can use the size of the error to control that. You can have it look for missing and extra layers, or you can turn that off. So it's just a, up to you. And then uh, under Drill Compare, we put some options in there as well, like finding missing drills, extra drills, or mismatched drills. Uh, so you have a, a 20 mil VA and a 40 mil component hole in the same location versus one design to another. So that's design comparing CAM 350. Um, basically, it uses streams rule checking. Uh, you set up the comparison parameters. You pull in the second job, and you run the comparison, and it will show you the results.